I did it! Hey guys, and welcome to Magapod! I tried this to is the uh, Happy Lyric channel. This is the Happy Lyric channel. Manga pod here. Bro. Yeah, it's like probably the manliest manga show ever. 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 <coughs> All we, we talk about is boobs and bush, man. Bush, boobs yeah. and bush. If boobs you've never joined bush. us for manga pod before, what we do? Well, you know, let me tell you what we is. We we. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. We are a weekly podcast in which we get together after we've read all a part of a manga. We discuss it with friendship, love, and lots and lots of spoilers. I'm your host, Aaron. I'm happily Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and with me are two of my Perfect. three lovely co-hosts. Whee! Introduce yourselves, pretties. I'm Dodger. I was gonna I was gonna try to do a man voice, but then I realized it was probably gonna just destroy my throat after a while. <laughs> Uh-huh. I had the same thing. Oh, I was expecting you to say more. That was the, no, I'm sorry. That was the weirdest thing because the the stream for me just like started. And so I heard you going, hey guys, and welcome to Mogpod. And I was like, where the fuck is that coming from? Okay, hi, I'm Dodger and uh, I'm happy to be here. Ha gonna... Are you happily, happily? Excited? I am happily here. Hey. hey. Hi. I'm Dazza from Fine for Nippon. So. Hello. So. So. Sure, bro. Did you, just, did you just hit yourself in the tooth with your cup? Huh? <laughs> what would make you think that I did that? That would be silly. That would be a silly thing to do, Brooke. <laughs> I know. Anyway, Manga Pod, guys. Manga Pod! <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. We are okay. um, missing our lovely, our lovely Sundari Yokorama, but he has been replaced by yeah. his, yes, perfect, by his By vodka Vodkarama. vodka -rama. <laughs> I got distracted by the burp. I know. By vodka -rama. He is sick, unfortunately. And uh, Jean from X Disturbs Jean Anime Appraisal was also supposed to join us, but unfortunately she couldn't make it either. So it's the three of us talking about the manga that should induce all sorts of interesting discussions. I'm tonight. honestly like so disappointed that we didn't have the whole crew here. I know! Because I feel like it would have just been it the best conversation. <laughs> It's still gonna be pretty good. Save I'm me, guys. I, I'm Save pretty, me, chat. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be a freaking awesome discussion. Dazza, I think, Save is me, most chat. excited about this. Yay! Save me! Yay! Yay! We read Gantz this week, volumes 1 through 4, chapters 1 through 46. If you've never joined us for a manga pod before, what we like to do is give you a spoiler-free description, a.k.a. a summary, which our lovely Dr. Dazza will get all glassed up and reading for us. And then after, I mean, JK, no glasses. Oh, if I had my glasses, I'd put them on my camera for let's you. Do like this. I do with Dodger, yeah. Oh, oh. let's do this. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There you go. Yeah. No, I need to get the video thing out. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay. Wait, no, you don't, okay. So what we do before this, however, <laughs> yeah, keep going. Yep. Uh huh. What we do, what we do after we give you our spoiler-free description is we give you our spoiler-free recommendation whether or not we think you should go and spend time. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting control. so. I hurt, I hurt my arm we're doing that. Like, <laughs> I give up. I give up today. We give you our spoiler-free recommendations whether you want to go, so you know whether you should go and spend time reading it or not. So, we'll get to that in just a second. Dr. Dazzo, will you put on your glasses and read for us, please? Hello. Hold on. Yeah. Monocle. Monocle. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Thought your life was bad? Sometimes, death is worse. There is no salvation, peace, nor God waiting to receive you into their care. But wait, a God? Maybe you were talking about that big black ball stuck in the room with you. Now you were thrown into a game, fighting green aliens and robot monsters for a chance to survive. This is a terrible synopsis. <laughs> <laughs> when Kei Kuro is killed, he thus finds himself caught in such a game, a test of his skills, moral and will to survive. His life is not his own. His death spat and trampled upon over and over again. But what happens when he does not listen? 
God knows. God. For a second, there was like, up until you said, this is a horrible summary, I thought you had written that. Specifically, oh, thanks for that. I thought that was a possibility too. I was like, this can't be a real. This can't be a real one. But, I, but the way it ends is the same way that it ended when I read it. So I might have read the exact same thing and I just don't remember. I don't I remember that it part. My memory. It's all it's all for mail. Like mail. Silly, silly mail. Silly mail. Yeah. Okay, so that is the spoiler free description. Now we are going to give your spoiler free summary. But really just kidding, spoiler free recommendation. 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 Before um we do that, I also wanted to say that um we have only read chapters one through forty six, and like I said, if you never joined for a manga pod before, we do not like rotten bacon butts, which is our term for people who spoil stuff. So do not <laughs> your poor arm. <laughs> I don't know what's this going is, on. This is it the, feels like I have like a pinched nerve. Is this or something. the manga pod where you die because you hurt your tooth and now you hurt your arm? Don't say that, Aaron. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, guys. I'm gonna go get some painkillers, like, and I just like no! trip. <laughs> No! <laughs> and then you get transported into the manga and we're just like no that would be the worst am i making you feel happy <laughs> I-, I just think it'd be funny you go to a doctor and saying hey the doctor I-, I pinched a nerve what were you doing i was making the glasses face i was making the glasses face <laughs> you know and then you pull up manga pod to show him because i'm like look i can't do it and then i'm and then i'm like messing with right Right? Physical therapy, right? Need right. it. <laughs> All okay. right. People who spoil our rotten bacon butts, do not post in the comments or in the YouTube comments. I guess it's the same thing now. Um, any spoilers that go after chapter 46, and also keep in mind as we're reviewing this, that um, we have only read up to chapter 46, so our reviews are going to be based on those 46 chapters. So, FYI. Now to give our spoiler-free recommendation, somebody want to go first? Ooh. I want to go first. Hit it. I just want to say before I started, a lot of people wanted me to not wear a shirt during this manga pod. But. <laughs> Spoiler! But Georgia came Spoiler! To me and said she didn't want me stripping. Who said that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about that for an hour. I just have to say that. <laughs> it's about time for my joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's my joke. <laughs> Got it. Did it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gantz. Gantz is uh, interesting, I have to say, because I actually really enjoyed the first part of it up until uh, up until something happens and everything seemingly goes back to normal things. I was enjoying it. And I was really enjoying it. I was like, holy crap, this is great. And I was just power reading through it. And it was really quick. And the, I thought the art was great. The, the story was getting very interesting. And then it wasn't as interesting. Do you recommend it, Daza? Based on the 46 <laughs> chapters that we read. I feel like we're going to have to keep reiterating that. <laughs> uh, based on the 46 chapters that I have read... I would recommend it if you want something quick to read, if you like boobs, and you like people without morals, and not a good kind of morals, either bad kind of morals. Right. If not, then don't bother. Like, if I had read this and said to myself, ah, oh, I should go back and read this, I wouldn't go back and read it, so. Okay. Knowing that, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Nice. Do you want to go, daughter? Sure. Okay. I can go. Because we're going to basically say the same thing, I think. <laughs> Gantz, without spoiling anything. Gantz is like if a 14 or 15 year old boy woke up with the magic power to draw wonderfully. And then he decided, I'm going to make my perfect comic book. It's going to have boobs every other page. It's going to have aliens and heads exploding and people are gonna die and it's gonna be amazing but unfortunately this 14 slash 15 year old boy has never written anything beyond a birthday card that is my feeling and i do not recommend it i think it's awful (laughs) 
there. I feel like you were sitting on that longer than Dazza was sitting on his joke. <laughs> Um, yeah, I am going to hop right in and say that I also do not recommend this manga, which is the very first manga that I have said I do not recommend this manga on MangaPod before. I think it's mine, too. I can't remember. I think it is. I think so. <laughs> because exactly what Dodger said, I thought that the premise was incredibly interesting. Mm-hmm. The first chapter, I was like, holy shit. Spoilered for the first chapter, but there's a head flying off a body. If you never joined us for a manga pod before, I love gore, and when heads fly off bodies because it got hit by a train, it's just the best thing. No, no, the guy was attacked by a train. Okay, he, he was, was attacked, attacked by right. a trainer. He was attacked by the train. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. My miswording. <laughs> I genuinely laughed at that part. That by part the way. was really funny. Yeah, that was, that's true. That was, that was really funny. Um, but it quickly became something that, I'm also fine with boobs, but it quickly became something that felt, um, all over the place. Like, the author didn't quite know what he wanted to do, and he, like Dodger said, focused way more on the boob side of it, and, like, the gore and all of this, instead of developing an actual plot. So it was, like, all of this stuff that he wanted to put in it, but couldn't figure out how to develop a plot around it, but he had this base idea that could have been really good but so far has not been executed nearly as well as it has and also the characters are not necessarily like not just because they don't have morals but i'm just gonna say because i felt that a lot of them were pretty flat so uh um, think we'll of it like this all right that. joffrey from game of thrones is a fantastic character despite his morals yes all right He's an evil... from Kuroko Nabasuke is a fantastic He character, is a fantastic despite character. Despite him being a dick. But I hate his <laughs> butt. His dick face, butt chicks. These guys are horrible <laughs> characters because they got no character. Yes, so. I agree with that. Um, and I, I, I also agree with Dazza that, like, at the beginning, I was like, all right, I kind of see where this is going. <laughs> But it very quickly lost sight of what it was. Mm-hmm. And even though everybody's, mm. everybody has said multiple times, oh, once you get past chapter 100, it's great. And I'm like, I don't have the no. patience for that. No, can I, can I just say, a lot of people say, oh, once you get past this point, it's going to be fantastic. But something has to be good up to that point to interest me. Right? They've said this about One Piece, all right? And I'm going to get lots of hate for it. Oh, stop. Oh, I, lo- oh. I love One Piece so much, but I won't, ha- I won't hate you. Yeah, for not I like right. One Piece. They say the first 70 episodes of One Piece are average and that it's quite hard to get into it after that. And I'm just thinking, I'm not wasting my life watching a whole series of, like, pretty much like there's like three or four seasons there mm-hmm. of anime that I could watch instead of watching One Piece. Mm-hmm. You know, why do I waste my time watching this purely average show just so I can get up to episode 800 and enjoy it? Yeah. So something has to be good from the start and enjoyable to keep you interested so you read more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that being said, I did read, I am reading the manga for One Piece, so don't hate me. <laughs> Yay! So yes, I, love um, <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> recommend it. it. Go read it. But there are a lot of people that recommend it, so we do highly, as MangaPod, we highly suggest people forming their own opinions, too. So, if you, um, that is as spoiler-free as this MangaPod is going to get for Gaunts, so if you do not want to be Gaunts, Gaunts, listen, I, like, (laughs) now whenever I see a word that, like, I actually pronounce it right the first time, I always second-guess myself because I'm, like, I never pronounce, like, Japanese words right or anything. People always get on my balls. I don't know how to say Gantz. If it's Gantz or Gantz, I'm not too sure. I would say Gantz. Banana, banana. (laughs) Well, the thing is, in Japanese, (laughs) it'd be, like, Ganatsu. 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 Because yeah. that's how you'd say it in Japanese, Whereas, but I can't find... With my Nebraska oh, okay. accent, I, like, uh, automatically ga- accentuate na-tsu. my yeah, A. Yeah, it's Ganatsu. Yeah, see, I so. Nebraska accent, I automatically enunciate my A's, but people always get pissed at me because they're like, that is not how you pronounce the A. Huh. And that was... <laughs> is it boss? Boss. Dance. Aaron. Uh, What? Aaron. Is it huh? dance or dance? Dance? Dance. 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 It's, it's dance here. Dance. You got- Dance. Yeah. Nebraska. Dance. I have I have a much flatter A <laughs> than Aaron does. <laughs> I, have, I have a very enunciated A. <clears throat> so yeah, spoiler free as this shit's gonna get. So you have you have five boobies 
to show yourself out. Five boobies. Four boobies. Three boobies. <laughs> two boobies. One boobie. And then no boobies. <laughs> and then no, no, nobody ever has just one boobie. Well, not in this anyway. Well, I actually, say, I, that I happens say, in real life. Yeah. Yeah. You know boob. I guess there's a possibility of somebody being born with one boob. You know boob. You know what? boob. I'm just saying here, like, you know, from Ryan Nikki having just one boob. Goes... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's happened. Like, there's this character design from Space Dandy. There's got to be one of those chicks at boob, no, the breast. She had three has boobs. Had... I know there was one that had three boobs. There's one that had three. Yeah, there's got to be one that has Total one. recall, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys. You know boob. Look, okay, fine. Two boobs, one boob. And God. Get out of here. God. <laughs> Yeah, you've had plenty of time. You've had plenty of boobs. Plenty of boobs. Okay, yeah. let's talk about plenty of boobs. Let's talk about guns. Okay. Um, sure. Where should we start? Expectations. Expectations. I was expecting it to be... I was expecting the story, plot-wise, to have much more substance than it had, especially with how everybody had said how dark it is and how um, such a what's the word criticism of like this the human condition and our thoughts and like sins and all of that i was expecting it to delve much more into that whereas what i got was the like skimming the surface of that but not attempting to go deeper um and i can possibly like after 100 chapters like everybody's saying it could but so far it wasted too much time on when it could have been developing the plot, it wasted more time on useless, unnecessary scenes that weren't even that exciting to read. So. Expectations were high and they got shot down low when it was stupid. Yeah, my expectations were pretty high too. Just because, like, so many people recommended that we read it. Mm. And I think what, like, yeah, the thing that I'm the most disappointed in is that in 46 chapters, not much happened. Like, I the feel best like I started pretty much. Yeah, I feel like in 46 chapters, we should have done so much more. Mm -hmm. And just things were not done. And it depresses me that the criticisms that I have of it, the immediate response so far has been, well, Dodger, it's a mature manga. So obviously you should have expected these things. Heads up, if you want a mature manga that has all these exact same elements, but does it amazingly, go read Berserk. Yes. Yeah. Because that is a mature manga with lots of mature stuff in it that is incredible. And this one, it can have all the gore and boobs and curses and almost rape scenes that it wants, but it's not put together in a way where it was interesting. And I wanted it to be so interesting. Like, if you're going to have those elements create a framework where those elements are impactful and not just flat. That was my Because feels. one scene that really got me, I think, and one scene that really, like, when you were <clears> saying <throat> yesterday how you weren't enjoying it, Brooke, and I was just like, but I really liked it because I only read up to, I think, about chapter 30. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? And I was really enjoying it up to that. But then when, uh, I think it was the scene where they went into the uh, chamber for the, the second time, in the apartment for the second time. And all those guys are just like, oh, let's just rape her. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you know, that. I'm just like, you just died, dude. You wouldn't think, oh, I'm going to rape this chick. I mean, Not it just only that. Sorry. It just Sorry. seemed stupid. And then when, like, I think the, w the worst part of it was when they all left and it was just uh, her and another Yakuza member or whatever. And he starts so, raping, so like, now? trying to rape her. I'm just like... You're, people are disappearing in front of you, dude. This doesn't yeah. make any sense. Like, in the framework for what the author gave us, that doesn't make any sense. Why would he do that? He would be freaking out. Yeah. yeah. I, I totally agree. I was going to say, that happened, like, the fact that they, the author did the attempted rape thing so many times, like, not just, like, he, she, when she first showed up, the one dude tried to force her to give him a blowjob. Mm -hmm. When she was at the main guy's house, he... He was like, like I want to have sex with her. Should I just force her? Yeah. And I was like, what? And then, <laughs> and then he was giving her the back rub and decided that it's okay that she needed to have her, mas her booze mas massage. Guys, 
giving a girl a back rub is not an excuse to do a slip around grope, okay? And then <laughs> she, f- like, fucking, um, the guy, like you were saying, goes to rape her, and the dog, like, twice. All of that. Like, I mean, the dog yeah. obviously is not rape. That's not, like, what I'm trying to say. But there were all of these scenes. <laughs> it will sometime. That, like, there were all of these scenes that um, people can say as much as they want that, oh, well, it's a mature manga, so you should assume that it's going to be in there. No. Rape is very mature, and rape can be done in a manga in a way that's not just blarg. Like, the way. <coughs> Berserk. 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 Yes. Berserk has rape scenes, and it is handled so incredibly well. For a purpose. Like, when a manga uses rape or uses boobs or anything for no reason, it just automatically loses so much credibility in my book because what is the point of it? It just belittles everything that people it's, go through it's with like, that. And it belittles for, the way like, people are looking at it. It's like an 11-year-old. Like, an 11, 11-year-old will come up to you and say, Hey, I'm super mature. I'm more mature than everyone else. I use swear words. Yes, it's, not mature, it's exactly dude. like that. Yeah. You know, um, it doesn't make you mature. Using rape scenes doesn't make something mature. In fact, it probably it's the opposite. It's really immature the way it's handled everything. Mm-hmm. And the, like, like both of you were saying, it also disappointed me that, that despite those things happening so many times, the second that it was done, everybody acted like it never happened. Mm -hmm. She was totally cool with being around those dudes. She was just like, okay, well, guess I almost got raped again. And it's like, really? We're not gonna touch on the like emotional value of this at all. It's just gonna be what it is. Like, I don't understand. I was really, I was really disappointed in this manga. Like, Like, even like her starting up, she had no character. She literally appeared in front of us as a girl that was naked. Mm-hmm. That is what she appeared in front of us as. And basically, that's exactly what she was. She was a girl that was naked that has big tits. Yes. Mm-hmm. And like, that's it. The rape, the rape, um, the rape, the, the rape, <laughs> the like rape stuff wasn't even the only thing that was a serious, mature topic that or ser- yeah serious that got brushed off like the fact that she committed suicide it was an afterthought like later on he's like oh i guess that's why she committed suicide but like they didn't delve they could have delved into that and like instead what they chose to do was have her go to the main guy's apartment and spend an entire chapter and a half of her posing and like doing all of these vagina shots in the shower and be oh like, my God. oh, I needed that, was the worst. I needed I was like, that bath. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like, that was, com- they could have spent that entire chapter, like, yeah, there was a funny moment, like, diving into the main character's um, narration and understanding, like, what his thought process was, but they didn't need to spend that chapter and a half on that. Like, it was completely unnecessary when they could have been fleshing out this plot that otherwise did not like live up to expectations yeah yeah boo <laughs> boo <laughs> <laughs> boo boob Boobs. yeah um, and i think for the for the record we should say again we are all very fond of boobs oh god and- heavily oh, yeah. pro boob heavily, <laughs> heavily oh, pro god, boob yeah. heavily, heavily vaginas pro it's fine yeah. it's all fine it's all good if it's done right. <laughs> if it's boobs, not- boobs are used for something. Boobs can't just be out there for everyone to see. You have to use the boob to push forward the plot and make the characters have some cleavage. You gotta depth. make the characters have cleavage. <laughs> yes, because cleavage actually makes you want more. They gave us boobs to start off with, and that's not how you do things. <laughs> I mean, you don't go to a club and, and, like, they're all naked and you say, oh, okay, yes, I want to go see what she's like in bed because I can clearly see her boobs look like that. No, you go up to a girl and you talk to her and you get to know her so you get to see the boobs later on. You don't get them to start off with. Right. Oh, my God, that analogy was so good. Was so good. Um, that's enough. That brings up another point about everybody saying, oh, well, if you focus on the fan service, like, it's a mature manga. Obviously, it's going to have the boobs in it. Listen, this is entirely another topic of being, like, 
like boobs being rated mature is something that makes me pissed off because guess what boobs boob nudity like it should not be something that's considered mature in the first place i personally believe but a mature manga does not have to have boob and the fact that they pixelated the guy's dick made it <laughs> so much worse okay can I just but say something? Showed full on vagina. The reason the why the vagina, wait. full on labia is fine, but show those testicles and fuck all oh god, people get Is that pissed. a Japan thing? Do you want to find? Do you want to hear something funny Maybe. here? It might be. The a reason they thing. pixelated it is because in Japan they can't actually show a penis. Okay, I was gonna <gasps> say, is that a is that a Japan a, thing? Yeah. But they okay. show vaginas. That's so interesting that they can. Uh, be- actually, if you recall correctly, you didn't see the vagina properly. There's certain parts of the vagina you can't see, like the inside of it. Like the clit? Um, can't see the clit? Yeah, no. So you can see the clit. The clit's fine because for some reason Japan doesn't know that the clit is the simulation part. But you can't That's see the actually, inside I'm of it. fine with that. Listen. <laughs> Pleasure. Females have it. Hey. <laughs> Let's not yeah. get onto the reasons but why I, I know clit. Okay, that's inter- everything. Else. Okay, see, I didn't know that that was a cultural thing, but it's it's very interesting that they can't show the penis, but they can show like all that JJ. All the all yeah, ladies, but they, they, the inside of the vagina is like sacred and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And because the penis is all on the outside, they think, oh, that must be sacred too. They actually have festivals where they celebrate the penis. They have giant I have another stuff. reason to go to Japan. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> penis festivals. <laughs> I, wait, I, wait. I wish I was joking, but it's like this no, giant. I, I don't want you to be joking. They're carrying around. I don't want you to be joking with that. I was watching a documentary one time. It was like a really short one, but it was about uh, the men that take part in masturbation competitions in Japan. <laughs> And it was amazing because they were like interviewing all of their girlfriends and they were like, oh, yeah, I just let him do his thing. And then it's just like her sewing in the background and him just like fapping. <laughs> oh, like, my right? God. It's so funny. I was like, this is the best. Oh, my this God. Just I would so, so lose competition. <laughs> <laughs> you look so sad. <laughs> anyway, should we talk about like dance as like a story? Yes. Now okay. that we've done that. Yeah. Now that we've, now that we've gotten all of the. Actually, that. Let's talk about firstly, criticism of the story, yeah. I, I want to address something that you said yesterday on Twitter. Okay. Right, How about- you say bush. that there's too much bush. <laughs> well, and I'm just like, is- if a girl I- wants to have bush, she can have bush all she wants. I agree. I agree. But I, I also feel like <laughs> the amount of times that he was like, all right, drawing her in a sexy outfit, boobs hanging out, and just going to put a little squiggle. <laughs> And just put like a little squiggle on the side and be like, it's a pubic hair. Right there. Squiggle. <laughs> like, constantly. Like all the time. And I was like, it's fine. You can have that if you want. But you should at least make it even, right? Like, put a squiggle on the other side. She's like a 15 year old girl. Though. Listen, she wouldn't know how to make sometimes hair one, even. Piece of, one piece of pubic hair just sticks out, okay? You can't control it. It does. It. It's really annoying. <laughs> You know how hard it is when you're like going around doing something, you've got like pubic hair sticking out and it gets into your jean belt and it really hurts. <laughs> Either way. This is great, Mario Pod. It's just <laughs> it's the weirdest yeah. thing. How like every cause every chapter page was was her naked, essentially. Yeah. And so like yeah. every for, title page for the chapter. And in a lot of them, if you look in the, in her vagina tastic area, there's just like a little squiggle. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is this? What is this?" It was so funny to me. Okay. Anyway, uh, no, I was gonna say something. This isn't a criticism. Just, I mean, it just made me laugh really hard. Was the cover pages? <laughs> because they were so good. Hold on. Allow me to. Um, sh- oh, I. Have this, is the, this is the one I have it open to. <laughs> oh. <God. laughs> there it is. Yep. Just happened to have that pulled up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Of course. So it made me laugh because I was like, oh, it's like serious. You can't see it, but whatever. Um, so it's talking about how like it has the serious, their faces, and then you see the first boob one. And you're like, mm-hmm. okay, okay, it's a boob. Yeah, it's fine. And then she slowly like gains more clothes. And you're like, oh, good. This is this is good. She's getting more. Oh, she's she's lost a little bit. Oh, good. It's a picture of them in the suit. Yeah, no, that's good. That's really, really good. And then you get... 
to actually I can't show this because I'll get kicked off. I was gonna say, can you show it on YouTube? (laughs) But then you get to the one where it's just like fifteen of her just posing on herself completely naked. That's the one that made me just lose my mind. I was like, why are there so many naked? It's just all her. It was all her. I was like so excited because I was like, oh, she's gaining more (sighs) clothes. And then it was just. Just like he copied and pasted her all over the place. But if you want to see what cover page I'm talking about, go to uh, chapter 28. See, I think I, wo- I worked out why the monka did that. Mm-hmm. It was all based on his horniness level at the time. If he was really horny, naked, lots of those everywhere. But when, she was- when he wasn't, he drew like the really cool pictures of them in the suits. That's why I was saying I feel like... He's actually just 14 because the <laughs> manga just feels like, God, I really want to see some boobs. Sick. I drew boobs. Now I want to see somebody's head blow up. Awesome. Sick. Got that down. All right. Now I want to see boobs again. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in this manga? I will say, though, um, both of the aliens that we've seen, very interesting. Yes. I think. I was going to ask you, because they have very interesting character designs. Actually, we've seen three yeah. aliens. We've seen three aliens. Have we? Yeah. Wait. We saw Onion onion Dad and Onion Son. And then, and saw the um, birds. where's Waldo Bird? The bird, yeah. Where's Waldo Bird? But the Onion and the Son were the same. So yeah. it's two. They so were the same? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was like the onion boy. And then a, I yeah. thought it was his dad, and the dad got really Yeah, sad. but it's still the same creature. Yeah, but it's the same alien, right? It's the same style of alien. Yeah. You guys are just technicalities. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of technicalities. I... Uh, uh, I that, was, that turned into, actually, like, a cry at the end there. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I was actually looking on Mao. Uh, for the guy who actually wrote it. His name's uh, Hiroya Oku. And he will be 50 this decade. He previously wrote, uh, oh, happy birthday. That's a golden birthday. Um, (laughs) This decade, he will be 50. I think he's about 45 at the moment. Um, Oh, this decade. Oh, I thought you said this year. Um, He previously, I think, drew hentai manga. I'm not, I'm oh really? I, I don't, think so. I, I don't know. That's what I saw somebody say, but it's the internet. <laughs> but uh, I mean, we can fact. It says that. he is the creator of Gantz, Zero One, and Han, all of which being serialized in Young Jump. His manga all, often contain explicit violence and gore, as well as sexualized situations. That's, no shit. That's not hentai. <laughs> sexualized situations. Sex. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> Boobs. Uh, 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 okay. It's the least okay. sexiest thing when you have a girl saying, No, I don't want you to stick it in me. That's not sexy at all. What? I missed the first part of that sentence. Yeah, I was like, Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like sexy situations. It's not sexy when a girl was being raped. Yeah. It's true. Um, okay, so aliens. We were talking about aliens. Yes. The, I, I was, was re- going to ask was, you because sorry. I know you love monster designs and cool monster designs make you really happy did you i was gonna say did you enjoy those uh i enjoy the birds and puppets like a plus i was like this is real cool and i like them using their their outfits to like flex real hard and just pop them out of the puppets Mm -hmm. um the onion aliens (laughs) confused me i still i still liked them because for whatever reason, them being like, I'll give you my onions when they're going to die. It was like the saddest thing to me. I was like, stop. And when they killed, when they killed the little one and then it turned out there was a big one. I was like, they killed the child one. Ah, and that made me so sad. I was like, he killed a baby. He just wanted to give you his onions. (laughs) It was so sad. It was so sad. I was so dazzled before we started. I was like, he's so ugly in that cute way. It's so sad. So ugly. Yeah. I loved the aliens. I wish that we had Mm. gotten to see more with them, even more than with them. Like, it was a very short amount of time that we spent with them. 
I think. Mm -hmm. Like, and when, mm -hmm. like, the chapters were so short that I felt like they were 18 pages each. I felt like I was reading five pages every single chapter. Yeah. I blasted like, through it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think it's because there was so much time spent on, like, each, like, um, action. It was very, like, drawn. I don't know how to say it. It was, yeah. It was interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here at MangaPod. <laughs> <laughs> we make fart noises. We are. Yeah. Onomatopoeias. Onomatopoeias. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wish... I thought it was picking up pace the second time. I don't know, yeah. the second time. Right when we ended, I, thought, I was like, butts! Why couldn't it I, I thought this? the same thing. Yeah. No, like, I, I, I thought the same way. Like, oh, there's actually something different here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it like, felt... Sorry, keep going. Uh -huh. I was going to say, it felt very samey. Like, going back and killing aliens, just like, yeah, they're going to do this for the entire manga? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something That's else what has I'm curious to happen. About. Yeah. Like, when does it deviate from what's obviously been going on for a long time? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it was, um, I wasn't expecting uh, the middle schooler to actually to die. die? Where that Me happened. neither. Yeah. So it brings up the idea that nobody is, like, really nobody is safe in this world no matter how many times you go back mm -hmm. or how long you are there. Yeah, I thought that was interesting, too. I thought for sure he was being built up to be a character that was going to be around for a while. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, well, he's dead now. <laughs> I was like, Bye. So I guess that makes uh, it more interesting. Like, in the long run, it would make it more interesting because we learn with the characters how this world works and what... Mm happens and what like what can happen and what does what can i just say i found it really f annoying how he died and says i only needed like 10 more points to get out and no one noticed or paid attention to that everyone was just like oh we gotta find the other alien and it's just like how do we get well, out of here oh. they I talked think, about it i think they mentioned mentioned it like in passing you yeah. think that'd be like a huge thing though well that's the theme with this manga is important but they also, things are more like passing thoughts. But. Didn't they also notice that they only had 30 minutes left though, too? Yeah. 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 So that was a thing. Yeah, so they we like, learned that. We learned a few things. I thought it what I really like okay. Um mm -hmm. gotta give props for this attention to detail where um gosh, I keep forgetting the main guy's name, K Chan. I I can't remember anybody's name. I'm pretty yeah. Um, where the attention to detail with he had worn his suit out back into the real world. And so when he was sent back, he didn't have his suit. And I really yeah, that liked, was cool. I really did like that attention to detail. I thought that was really yeah. neat. The, on the other side for that, when, um, when they were teleporting, he was like, oh, I need a gun. So I gave him a gun. Yeah. And when he teleported, his gun was with him. I thought that was really cool as well. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. It was definitely, as, like, they described more of the world, it got more interesting. But it was mm. like, why did you waste all this time on frivolous stuff earlier on? That <laughs> could have, this yeah. pacing could have been so much better. It was strange. There were so many things that, like, pro took priority over actual plot and development, and I didn't understand mm. why. Yeah. And, I mean, it's this popular, it must get better, you know? Mm -hmm. But as of what we read so far, I don't know, 46 chapters in and it's like just really slow is weird. Yeah. Yeah, the pacing of it is very slow. Um, yeah. mm. Like I felt like when they ran into Onion Dad, like <laughs> there was so long of them all just kind of staring at each other that it was like. Oh, it's like Dragon Ball Z. It was very Dragon Ball Z. It was, it was Dragon Ball Z in manga form. Yeah. yeah. Can we get Gantz Kai? Just like with <laughs> all the BS cut out? <laughs> like, that would be great. I'd love that. <laughs> How long ago was this and the fan service. It came out. Um, it, was, it, it started in 2000 10. and finished in 2013. Yeah, just finished. Just oh, finished. June 2013. Yeah. It felt so much older than that. Mm -hmm. Like, it felt like it... I don't know. I know, it the felt start like felt very... Uh, it felt very old boy, I thought. Yeah. I see that. Like, in terms of technology and setting and stuff like that. Yeah. Because yeah. he had, like, a flip phone, and I'm just like... 
Is this like a new manga? Shouldn't you have something like a bit more interesting than a flip phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it felt a lot older to me, but I think that's because the the art style reminds me of kind of older manga. I wasn't a mm. huge fan of the art style, and um, and also like the concept of it isn't a concept that we're unfamiliar with, right? Mm -hmm. Like people getting transported into a game, like a deadly sort of game, a survival right? game, a survival yeah. game, yeah. And when I was reading it, I was like, is this, was this one of the first <laughs> manga that's like that? No. Oh. But it's not, it's not at all. But it felt <clears throat> so basic mm -hmm. that I was willing to, like, believe that just to give it some slack. Yeah. Give it some <laughs> I was credit. like, well, maybe this is like the first, one of the first ones that's in this sort of vein, but it's not. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to find another one of the same vein. Um, uh, and uh, Battle Royale. Battle Royale, was, I was blanking on that so but, hard. That came out basically the same week as Gantz did. Battle Royale, the book? The manga? Or the, uh, movie? The, the manga. The manga. Came out in oh. 2000? I thought it was older than that. Well, the movie's way older than that. Oh, that's I don't know right. when the movie came I don't know when the movie came out. Ah, oh my god. Is my your arm, arm is still like, hurting? My arm is killing me. Did you stretch it? Can you do like this? Yeah, that's what I keep trying to do. But like it's fi it's fine until I stretch it. Oh, it's no. when I like lift my arm that all in here just hurts really bad. Oh. Don't do this, guys. Don't do it. It like messes you up. <laughs> the um the book came out in 999 and the movie came out in 2000. What? Hold I on. thought so. I thought the because um, first. the voice oh, actress my. for Asuka was a main role in it. The guy who plays Light in the live-action Death Note is the main guy. That's true. Mm -hmm. I remember. That is true. Because he's a cutie and a very good actor. <laughs> he's the cutie, <laughs> too. Get up with that. I had something about the plot that I cannot, that I wanted to bring up, but I cannot remember, remember it. Well, okay. I'll say this about the plot. Is it vagina it was dog? Very in it was very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. It, yes. The whole premise is fantastic. You know? <gasps> Siren! Uh, Sorry. Um, <laughs> coming off of watching Mariah and Nikki and being like, holy crap, like death games and all that kind of stuff, could be really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And doing it in a very suburban setting where people can't see you when you're fighting aliens and you have to get points and there's this weird alien inside the black ball. It's very intriguing, mm -hmm. but like like huh. um, like Brooke keeps saying, it's just mixed in with so much utter bullshit that we don't care or give a shit about the plot yeah. because yeah. it's so it's like you're looking at a river, you're looking at a giant river, all right, and that's what Gantz could be, but it's that puddle right next to the river. That is what it is. There's nothing <laughs> there. Literally. You can like step in it and you might get a light splash on your sock. <laughs> that's all Gantz is. Dad, so you it's a light splash the, on a sock. You're all about the killer like, analogies tonight. Yeah, good, good metaphors I have been going watching on today. way too many Top Gear in the last few weeks. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm um, glad we, we all loved this so much. No, it was so nice. <laughs> That's so sad as well because I really was really enjoying it. Yeah. And then they, yeah. like, as I was saying in the expectations, I was really enjoying it up until they went back into the real world afterwards. And it's just like, oh, there's a copy of you, never spoken again. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have sex with you because you're in my room. That was taken over like five chapters. But the yeah. fact that she killed herself that there's clones, people walking around, why doesn't Kai have a clone? Uh, all that brushed off. I think we had a panel talking about the train stuff, but we had five panels of him, want of like five chapters of him wanting to do her. Yeah, Run, rushing off to get some condoms and shown and jump. Like, I'm gonna come I know. I'm gonna lose I my, mean, that's what my I virginity do. tonight. This is gonna <laughs> be okay. awesome. And I was like, stop. Just no. Stop I mean, he's it. dead already. Why is he using condoms? He's dead already. <laughs> Hey, they're they're faxed copies of real people. He might yeah. still have faxed sperm in there. Yeah. Who were there any of the characters? You could have that... faxed babies, huh? 
Facts, babies. <laughs> they just come out incomplete. Ah, <laughs> come out. Ah, and it's just ah. a black baby. A black baby. Because <laughs> <laughs> don't you, didn't they always have like, this is talking like back in the 90s, but you also, whenever there was an error for a fax, just came out as a giant black page. <laughs> Oh, that's so, true. If he's a fax baby, he'd just be black. <laughs> if he's I a mean, fax that error, if he's a fax error, that sounds I, so I wrong. Nobody, yeah, that, no, that sounds so wrong. What we were talking I about know, right I, now, it sounds horrible. I, <laughs> let's, let's, bring, true. let's bring it back. Let's talk what about, were you going to say, Aaron? <laughs> I was going to ask you, were the, what, who, if any, were your favorite character? Do you have any? I liked, um... Uh, what's his face? Uh, the dude muscle. who thinks he's best friends with, with Kay. Yeah, that I guy. Liked- yeah, I like him too. <laughs> I was like, oh, I liked I how. Think- oh, huh? Go on. Go on. I was just gonna say, I liked how there was a whole scene where these kids were like, oh yeah, that one dude. Yeah, he's totally gonna like rape you and kill you. I hope you're ready. And he was like, mm-hmm, and just goes and just like beats the shit out of him. While and then he's is like, taking a are shit. We- are we done? <laughs> I was like, thank God. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I thought that he was in a story where I felt like pretty much nobody was redeemable. He was the only character where I was like, please don't die. Mm-hmm. You're like the only good person. <laughs> like, yeah. Everybody else is a waste of my time. Like he starts out like he starts out good. So I'm like, if there's anything I'm interested in, see with him is if he's going to fall if he's going to be the one that falls from grace right yeah um or they kill him off or they kill him which i'm stupid oh my god i was just or the dog <laughs> wait what were you gonna the spoil? dog i thought the dog was an interesting character spoil something after chapter 46 no i was gonna spoil a completely different anime oh <laughs> i was about to like reference something and then i was like that's a huge spoiler oh, itself. Is it is it the one I know you're talking about? I mean maybe I mean Probably. maybe Did I can't say anything wait, beyond well, that. No, so. no, no did, I'm not I can't no, say it. Do that. not say it. Don't say it. But do did, in, in this if chat, I had, chat if I had happened to have seen it, mm-hmm. did I have a feeling about it? <laughs> I mean I have a feeling about everything here. Shut up. I, <laughs> so. I was gonna ask if I cried, but um known fact yes I, I, i'll say yes okay, you good. did i know what you're talking about i have um, no idea good you don't want to know you don't want to be spoiled uh yeah the dog has apparently been around for a while right yeah <laughs> like the dog is always there and hasn't died yet he's just like i also like that there was a panel where he was shown in his own dog suit oh my god that made me so i was like ah! so cool. like does he get a dog suit? <laughs> I want to see him use his dog suit. I loved, I loved that Gans, Gans, um, Gans, like when he was awarding the points the first time he for the dog zero points, too much tail wagging, too much happy or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> okay, happy. that part where he was like giving them all scores. That was, I think, probably the funniest part of the yeah. whole manga to me. It, it did <laughs> seem very immature, but it was funny. He's just yeah. like. Um, he said to the girl, too much titties hanging out. Yeah. And then the guy... And her name was just tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tits. And then the guy was just, like, looking at titties too much with too much boners. And I'm just like, that's actually really funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was, like, there was hints of wit. There yeah, many... hints of wit. Like, attacked Immature. by a train. Attacked by a train. <laughs> and he's like, attacked by a train? Are you an idiot? <laughs> I was like, oh, why can't we have more of this? Yeah, <laughs> please. More of this. Also, if you'd like to see all of those scores, um, somebody screen capped them and put them all up on reddit.com slash r slash manga pod. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I would like to say, I love how much uh, r slash manga pod was used. Yeah, for this. I know, right? Maybe I went really over there happy. to double check and make sure that I read all the chapters, and I was like, oh, God's posts. Yeah. I'm Keep on using it, so. our subreddit, guys. It's in the link on the description for this video. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, let's talk about the other mature part of this manga. Other. Which one? Because um, uh-huh. uh, we haven't quite talked about it. Uh, the gore. Can we talk about the gore? Because I was highly appreciative of the gore 
because I love gore like that, and I thought it was awesome. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I wasn't say, that much detail, though. Yeah, there wasn't that much detail, but what I did get to see it made me want more of it and mm-hmm. again be like, why, gosh, stop spending time on the boobs and take that dedication and put it on the heads exploding. Right? I want to yeah. see more, like, upper jaw flying into people's faces. Give me more <laughs> of that. <laughs> Oh yeah, God. that was okay. I also laughed at that. <laughs> that dude's head blew up, and the guy like looked down at his shirt, and it was just a nose and an upper lip. And I was like, "Gross!" <laughs> I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> I laughed. That was good. I, I must admit, I looked at him just like that. That's brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's another situation where I'm like, I'm looking back on Berserk, and I'm like, "God, the gore in Berserk is so beautiful." Yeah. As weird as that yeah. is to say, like it's so incredible to look at Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. the gore in this like obviously the mangaka was totally cool with having it but i was like i kind of wish that there were more scenes and there were a couple that had like more detail to them like every now and then we saw you know like a person's spine hanging out of their body and i was like sick that looks cool but a lot of times it was just that guy's head's gonna blow up and then there were just just like like, little splatter marks yeah yeah "Uh, Yeah. all right (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Like the part, the detailed part was the part that I was like, give me more of this. Like spend more time on this stuff. Is that messed up? Is that messed up for us to say? Like, could you be more detailed in which body parts are where, please? (laughs) (laughs) Or where they were. Or where they, yeah. Yeah. Of how they have (laughs) flown off of the body, please. I mean, I would agree with that. Don't shortchange us, sirs and madams. Okay. I want to see that finger going up someone else's nose. Why it's been not attached. While that other person, while the finger that's going up the nose, the other person's, like, butt cheek is flying off while their penis is going down. What? (laughs) What? And and their spleen is going into the dog's mouth while the dog is doing the one girl, like, the lick thing on the one girl's vagina. There you go. I wrote this long ago. That's that's Gans. That's just a German porn right there. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Oh. Um, I was gonna say my favorite gore moment of all, though, was the train scene. Yes, I liked the train too, was, and I, I think that, that whole scene point, I was, was still fantastic. really was so excited good. about the manga because mm-hmm. I was mm. like, "God, this is so tense!" And then they're like outrunning the train. They're like, "Don't worry, it's gonna stop," and then it wasn't gonna stop, and you're like, "Oh my god, oh yeah. my god!" My and favorite then, part of that god. was just like someone's like. Oh, he's like, oh, it's gonna stop. And so I was like, it's an express train. They're just like, shit. Yeah, that was, I was like, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. I loved just the way, it's gonna sound so bad. Just the way the head flew off the neck and landed yeah. and rolled in his eye was like, oh, so great. That I detail. Loved, I loved that the main guy's, we got to see like the main guy's head detach from his body as he's like, this fucking guy. And then, yes. and like, the other dude's head to Tatro's butt. Like, as though his head was knocked off and he was like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, just like, another day, another train yeah, adaptation. Yeah, so pissed about the situation. I was like, you're dead. <laughs> what? I do have to question, though. When someone gets hit by a train, I don't think your head flies off. You don't know that. Have you seen a person get hit by a train? No. I actually, let's talk uh-huh. about this. <laughs> um, I actually had, because I lived out in the country where there was a ton of train tracks and there were a ton of train tracks on gravel roads and those mm. um, railroad crossings don't have the arms that go down um, or like the blinking lights. And so I, one of my science teachers, her father was an under undertaker. Is that what? Funeral home director? No, um, cada- gosh, dang it. The person that works with dead bodies before they get sent off to the funeral home. Um, not a coroner, but a mortician. I, um, mortician. Mortician, yes. Her father was a mortician, and he, it was like a family business in a town of like 200, and so she would go out with him to pick up bodies whenever there was stuff outside when she was like right. 13. And so she told us one time about how she saw, there was a guy who was drunk, and he got hit by a train, and she went out and she saw what it looked like and like the head was off and like the arms it was a horrible horrible sight but she described it to us and it was their heads fly off when you get hit by a train sometimes although i would say 
I would find that less believable in a subway situation. That's true. I would just agree. because uh, like they're uh, see, like I, I there's such high crushed. walls and everything. Yeah. 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 See, I just would have thought they would have been hit by the thing, and then if the head did fly off, it got it hit a wall and then the train hit it again or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. True. That's what I think. Do, True. Do subway trains go faster than trains that carry stuff on the tracks outside? Uh, yeah. In, in Japan, they they're do. trying. It, I would assume so, right? Yeah. It, it depends on which train you're talking about. Like, they have the bullet train, which goes into tunnels sometimes as well. The flying pussyfoot? How fast? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Have neither of you seen Bakano? <laughs> Oh god, don't get me started on Bacano, please. My I haven't seen Bacano. Like no. great to, to watch. I've seen the first episode. No, you need to watch no. The first episode of Bacano, it's the golden rule of anime that you do not stop on Bacano at the first episode. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I haven't seen any of it. So I didn't stop anywhere. You guys I didn't even start. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are just you're hurting me. Look, I started so many anime this week. Can I know she be, did. I can, can confirm. you just be proud of me? I am <laughs> proud of you. I am <laughs> proud of your hummingbird. Your hummingbird makes me so happy, especially the fact that I know. you I dropped, think I actually posted on your you dropped page. Sword Art Online 2 before it even started. <laughs> oh my god, so many people tweeted me about that and I was like, yep. <laughs> But yeah, guys, watch. But I have. I'm going next time I see you. Next girls' night, I'm forcing you to watch. Bacano. Bacano. Okay, I, I got it for Christmas. I'm forcing you to watch it. I'm okay. hoping you're talking to Brooke and not me at the moment. Both next girls' you. night, Dazza. Both of you, Dazza. It's gonna be same time <laughs> as Anime Expo. Yeah. Oh, and God. you, me, Yoko, and Aaron are all gonna watch Bacano together in Jordan Nails. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Can we get smoothies? Yes. yes. Okay, I mean, I mean, and Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> now we just gotta tell Yoku that there will be vodka and everybody's in. <laughs> it's all fine. <laughs> it's alright, I can get a bowl of vodka and just put water in it. He will never know. <laughs> He's like, tastes legit. <laughs> Maybe this is what California vodka tastes like. Yeah, I mean, it's... I that's, saying, my it's special, that's my Yoku vodka. impression. <laughs> Maybe that's what it tastes like. <laughs> that's that's what it sounds like. Guys. Maybe that's what it tastes hey like. Guys. <laughs> Maybe that's what it tastes like. <laughs> that's like an old Italian guy. <laughs> thinking, Maybe that's what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, God. Yoko, we love you. Anyway, we can actually think that you yes, sound like trains this. Trains do go faster in subway in Japan than freight trains do, Aaron. Okay, cool. Okay, good. I'm, <laughs> finally, <laughs> I'm glad we finally got there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Should we talk about art? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I thought the faces were real fucking weird. <laughs> I really like. I didn't like looking at anyone's faces. Oh, I really? Really, like, I really like hated looking at all of their faces. Yeah. I really like the art. Oh god. The faces all looked like this. Yes. <laughs> it, it was like he got lots of lines and just went squiggly on all the faces. And they had like really small mouths, so like. <laughs> no, I got it the first time, Dazza. <laughs> okay, do you want me to do it again? Just again. <laughs> all looked like this. Everybody had like weird, like punch out cheekbones and like a pointy chin. And then they all just had like weird, like. Ugh, mouths like bird mouths. <laughs> so weird to me. I will say that the character designs did not. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> yes, Anne. What were you saying? <laughs> Character designs didn't differ much from one another, so sometimes it made it hard for me to figure out who was who. Especially, um, Kei-chan and the main girl. There were times where I was like, wait, was that Kei- oh, okay. See, he was gross- actually, one of those problems was when he, like, grabbed her around in the boobs. I thought it was her grabbing herself. <laughs> 
And I'm just like, what are you doing in his bed? Like, so weird. Why oh, it's a twin. Himself? It makes sense. Twins. Oh. Twincest is wincest. Yeah. Hey, can you have incest with yourself? Isn't that masturbation? If Supernatural has taught us anything. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God. Or on, uh, or on High School Host Club. Yeah, that as well. Yeah. Yep. Um, how no. can you have sex with yourself? It's a, it's a manga. Anything is possible, Daza. <laughs> oh, I suppose she has a no Actually, never mind. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Go I on. I wish I had liked it. There was a post on Tumblr last night that was like, did you know that these are all of the current searches for porn on Google right now? And you click it, and it's literally just like a constant feed of what people are searching for in porn. And it was That's so fantastic. funny. That Hang sounds on. amazing. Let me see if I can find this. Oh, I yeah, need that in my on. life. Hang on. Oh, gosh dang it. No, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Hopefully nothing shuts down. Live feed Chat. of Chat. porn searches. Chat, keep, your, keep yourself refined, please. Refined? I don't know. <laughs> yes, we may be talking about boobs. Keep yourself but, like, refined. Boobs. <laughs> Actually, on the subject of the boobs and art, uh, I thought huh? I, I have a problem with the physics there of the boobs. Like, yeah, there was they one were kind of like, woo. Like, there, it, it was like uh, high school of dead physics because there was one like here oh, at one stage. Like, it was like up here, and I'm just like. That's not how boobs work. I mean, I thought, considering, like... Yes, it's porn and D. <laughs> I can't considering... link it to you guys, sorry, because I don't want to mess up the thingy, but... Porn... I, thought, I thought that they were actually drawn pretty accurately in a lot of situations. Like, yeah. he was willing to make the boobs look unattractive... Mm -hmm. in order for them to be doing what they would actually do. Like, when she was laying down on the ground, they weren't just perfectly round anymore. They, like, went off to the side. And yeah. I was like, that's yeah, what that boobs do. Boobs do that. Boobs and do. when she didn't have a bra on, they were saggy. Yeah. Like, saggy-ish. Like, not grandma sag, but natural sag. Yeah. Yeah. There's some. There's someone looking for, wow, okay, nice, in the porn search. I'm just like, what? <laughs> what? Supergirl wet interracial nipples. <laughs> Um, let's have um, a look. What is Pink rock. Hennessy handjob blowjob is the one I... Sloppy seconds gangbang. A okay, female tube what? Missy Lou. <laughs> oh Isabella Soprano anal. Okay, I can't read anymore. We're gonna get kicked off. <laughs> Three lesbians. Stop. Abort. Abort. <laughs> Wait! I got one. Parentheses extended. Done. <laughs> what? Oh yes, I really like the parentheses extended. That yes, really specifically gets me the extended edition. Oh, oh okay. Um, more art talk. I thought that um Ugh. the like full like action scenes were pretty detailed, but there were a lot of times where it felt like he, especially when they were fighting, um, where's Waldo Bird Alien in the water. That was hella That's confusing. Like, for me, it was so hard to follow because there was just a okay. lot happening. But at the same time, there was a lot of detail that went in to a lot of the scenes that I really appreciated. But, yeah, the character designs for me were kind of meh, whereas the, like, alien designs and the backgrounds and all of that I thought were really good. You know what it reminds me of? Huh? Attack of Titan. Attack on Titan. Attack of Titan. Attack, Attack, of, Titan. Attack of Titan. But no, yeah, like in terms of like in the animation. action scenes, it's really hard to keep pace. Yes, it actually there was a joke in one of the latest uh, chapters where Armin and uh, Christina actually had to switch places, and they just they just let Armin be a girl for about two chapters. <laughs> but it, it's yeah. true, like in those action scenes, you had no idea what's going on because it was just yeah. so not poorly drawn because it was fantastically drawn. It's just. There's, mesh. there's so much happening for how yeah, quickly yeah. it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought the art was one of the better parts of the, the manga overall, though, I think. Yeah. But Definitely. then again, that's setting the bar really low because I didn't like this. <clears throat> I thought everything was beautiful except the faces. Faces were awful to me. <laughs> but like everything else, I was like, this is really well drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. 
Hang on, do I have to try this? <laughs> I can't, I can't pretty like that. <laughs> my light, my light, I don't know if you guys noticed. Oh, it stopped. No, there it hmm. goes. Oh, it was like, is your camera picking up like different levels of light? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's freaking out. It's freaking out hardcore. <laughs> it's like, ah! Like, what is the light level? Yep. Um, okay. Uh, I think we, we've talked on, we've touched on a lot of, a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there any talked other, any things, other, yeah. um, stuff like you wanted to touch on? Should we wrap up and give final thoughts and readings? I, I cool. just want to say, <laughs> I think that the bird that we see at the end of the last chapter that we read is the one controlling all the other birds. Yeah, I think yes. that too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big, big daddy bird. About that. Yeah, big daddy bird. Big daddy seance bird. Yeah, because they're bird. like, why big. are there more of these weird bird puppets everywhere? It but then was, they found big daddy bird. It was really yeah. sad when the grandma protected. Oh, my God. Oh, that was really sweet. That was really sad. Really sad. Yeah. But was it, it wasn't that sad because they really, really hadn't got to know them very yeah. much. It was kind of yeah. like, oh, that's sad because it's supposed to be sad, not because it was actually sad. Yeah, that yeah. Makes, that's true. Yeah. That's how it was with a lot of the stuff where um, it felt like it was trying to bring that emotion out of you, but it didn't give enough time dedicated to it to build up to that emotion. Uh-huh. Keep could you Are you going to strangle yourself? <laughs> I was going to say, is it this going to let go? It is the manga pod where you die. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. No. Why isn't it letting go? What happened? There you there go. go. There, we go. there you go. We don't need to fix no, you. Not, I'm not gonna die. We're not, we're not scoff twins anymore. My my fluffy McFluff stuff is that what what Yato calls the scarfs? What? Nothing. Oh, from from Noragami. Yeah. I can't remember. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So it was, <laughs> it was sad because it was supposed to be sad, not because it was actually sad. Oh look, yeah. that's good. <laughs> oh, this, this, this is nice. <laughs> what I wanted. Oh yes, excellent, good. Perfect. Cool. Oh, I can't get it off. Um, yeah. So let's wrap up and give our final thoughts and ratings, unless unless anybody else has anything else they would like to talk in depth about. Oh my God, my <laughs> headphones. My headphones are so okay. There we go. Anybody? Okay, I'm good. Right. Good. Final thoughts and ratings. <clears throat> it's hard to rate this one. I don't know. Because, I don't know, giving a lower rating for me is, feels harder than giving a higher rating. Because I've never given anything a low rating, so I'm like... Like a legitimately low rating, legit yeah. low rating, yeah. Hang on, let me go to the Reddit and find out what our <laughs> lowest rated is. Hasn't Daza given something a two before? He gave it. He gave. You gave it a two. I thought you gave it a four. Watanabe. Imadoki. Oh. Hang on. Hold on. Okay. Is is Gantz going to be rated as low or lower than Imadoki? <laughs> <laughs> the what did we give Imadoki? Um, <laughs> you, me, and Yoku gave it a five. Daza gave it a four. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Um, let me see if there's anything else that's. What did I give a five point two seven six to? Aku no Hana. Oh. Uh, that <laughs> let's not go right. into that bag of worms again. Yeah, let's oh. not. Um, yeah, let's not go into that. No, 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 no. Um, I'm trying to see what else was rated. Okay, I, I can go lowest. first. Yeah, those were the Hit us, girl. I'll go first. Those okay. So, based on these chapters that we've read, and for all of the many reasons that we've discussed, uh, I really disliked this manga. Like, really did not like it. I started off with a lot of hopes and dreams for it. I thought that it had an interesting concept. And uh, it really let me down. Like, real bad. And by the end, I was like... Some of that just left a real bad taste in my mouth. Like, yeah. there were legitimate areas of this where I just, like, almost didn't want to read anymore. Mm -hmm. Which does not happen to me very often. I'm very easy to please. Um, so it's, it's disappointing. But I'm, I'm going to give it a three. I thought it was real bad, guys. But the, the 
Bird puppets? S- saving it. <laughs> bird puppets were dope. They were super cool. And and the raiding scene. Yes. That's all that's saving it yeah. for me right now. So, so. um, so th- three tits out of ten? I gave it three tits out of ten tits. Perfect. I am going to give it four tits out of ten tits. So two girls. Uh, I'm giving it two females. <laughs> two. I will give it two ladies out of five. <laughs> Um, because it was definitely one of the manga that I, or maybe I should give it a five for, I don't know. No, um, you've already said your thing. <laughs> you already said it, Aaron. Said you it. can't go Pen- back, Aaron. Pen- Pen- it. Ah. Listen, I'll do what I want. Um, that sounded so mean. <laughs> I'll do what I want. Whatever. What <laughs> um, no, like Dodger, I'm incredibly easy to please. Um, when it comes to manga, and I have loved pretty much every single manga that has been recommended to us, I thought has been absolutely amazing. And Gaunt is one that I've had on my to read list forever because it's such, I like so many people recommend it. I don't know if you can consider it a cult classic. So I don't know. Oh, <laughs> what, like, happened to that? what happened to you? I mm-hmm. lost my Mac. Yes, go on. <laughs> You lost your mech. My mech. Um, Go get your Jaeger and get going. <laughs> I want a Jaeger. Um, Aaron so Jaeger. it was one. Ah, ah, I like ah. it. I like it. No. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, I was really, really excited about reading it. And um, I'm going to give it. I am going to give it. Okay, I don't, gosh, jeez. I'm going to save my rating until the end. I um, thought, <laughs> shut it. Shh. Um, I was really disappointed in a lot of it with how so much time was spent on, like, f- boobs and unnecessary sexual assault scenes and um, stuff like that because when it could have been spent advancing the plot and going into more detail about stuff that, was said in passing and should have been much more of a focus. Um, and But saying that near the end, it definitely started to seem to focus a little bit more on the plot. And the plot wasn't executed very far, wasn't executed very well thus far. So the fact that it like seemed to be becoming a little bit better escalate, ex- I can't speak. There's too many X words in the English language. <laughs> Um, the fact that it started, it seemed to pick up a little bit at the end, and the entire premise being as interesting as it is, I'm going to give it a little bit more credit, but overall, characters didn't do it for me, the art was okay, and maybe something given a little higher score is the fact that the train scene with the heads exploding and, like, the detailed gore made me really happy, so it's a really, that's a really weird, really weird explanation about my score. So what is your score, Aaron? <laughs> Four point five. Okay. That's safe. I'm just below average. Okay. Yeah. God, I'm such like a dumb person with that. You sound fine, Aaron. So you look like fine. Ooh, 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 X X X. I. My That's rating uh-huh. for Gantz. Oh, perfect. My rating for Gantz is a six. Ooh. Okay. 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 And let me explain. I thought the art was really quite well done. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, there was sometimes where it was a bit, mm, a bit confusing what was going on. But there are a lot of mangas like that. That's just the constraints of what manga actually is. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't have this big, massive, huge, wide angle thing because you won't be able to see anything. And you have it too close up, and it's too muddled because there's so much detail. So. I thought the art was quite good, and the faces were funny, I'll admit. I didn't mind the faces as much as you did, Brooke, so I didn't know <laughs> that bad, but yeah. Me? Um, <laughs> the reason why I'm giving it a higher score than what you guys are is because I think while we may have not liked the fluff, that doesn't necessarily mean the fluff was bad, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, we've gone on saying it was immature and stuff like that, but that's because our preconceived notions of it were that it was going to be mature, and that's just not what it was. 
So Margaret can't really be blamed for us having a preconceived notion of that. Um, the reason I'm giving it a six is because I think a five gives it too much of an average. I don't think it's mm. average. I don't think this manga is average at all. I think it could be quite well done. And the premise and the story can be very good when it wants to be. But at the moment, it's just not very good. Like, the score can easily go up very quickly, I think, depending on how the next few chapters go. Mm -hmm. But because of that, I think I think a six is just... It's better than average, I wouldn't recommend it because I didn't enjoy it. I did not enjoy <laughs> it. But then again, I didn't enjoy, what was it, Watamote? And I still gave it a 6.5. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's you true. know, because I could tell that it was actually still a little bit decent. That's fair. You know? That's true. Yeah. yeah. So I can see that, yes, it's a little bit decent. It's not fantastic by any means. I think everyone overhyping it is just making it worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I can, <laughs> the score's already going into the uh, document. <laughs> System nominal! Like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's um, happening already. So, yeah, give it a six because I think the art's well done. I think the premise is fantastic. I think the world created is quite good. Mind you, we haven't spent much time in it yet. Yeah. And we don't know much about it, but I think it'd be quite intriguing. It has spent a little bit too much time on fluff. That's why it's getting a lower score than what, it sh what I am. And, yeah, that's my reasoning for it. I can agree. I definitely agree that um, I can see it going up. Like, after you say that, um, I 100% agree I could see my score raising, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, from where we left off. But based on what we read, I did not... Like, it had full potential for me to be above average, but personally, I thought it was... I didn't think it quite reached that. But I agree with everything. I do like yeah. what you said. Yeah, I, I, I don't think... I don't think it's, it's below average, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, like I like I said, my enjoyment of it was really low. I'd give it probably like a two yeah. on enjoyment. Yeah. Like at the end, it got I was really enjoying it, and then all of it was gone. Right. Yeah. And the manga loses lots of credit for that. Yeah. But just in terms of what we've read, what it's been set up to do, it can be fantastic, mm -hmm. but it's not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like if it was going to be, if it was. Decent, I would give it like a seven, but it's not. So yeah, yeah. Where are you it's like a just pass, a just. <laughs> it got a C <laughs> or a D. It's more like a D even. plus, actually. <laughs> a D plus. <laughs> you did it. You, you, you passed. Or you were the last pass? person to pass, but you still passed. Oh, all, all I was gonna say is that the concept in theory really intrigued me, but the execution felt very tired to yeah. me. So, mm -hmm. I I wouldn't say that it's above average at all. Mm -hmm. But, again, like, it hasn't... In the 46 chapters that we gave it to give it a shot, it hasn't taken those 40... 46 chapters! It hasn't taken those 46 chapters to, like, interest us. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's that's such a bad sign to me. Yeah. I don't know. It, like, it's... <laughs> It's very hard to want to read more of a manga, no matter how many people say, oh, it gets better after 100 chapters, or it gets better after 80. Like, it's very hard to get invested in a story when they don't find a way to grip you within half of the amount of chapters yeah. that it supposedly takes for it to get good. Yeah. That's, that's completely fair enough. Yeah. You know, it should be, if it wants to be good, it should be good from the start. And... We should know that or, there's something. I don't know. There, I don't know there should be some know. substance yeah. saying, yes, it can be good, but I've got to sell all these little things. And I think something like, um, what we what have we read? I think something like Mariah Nikki does that quite well. You know? Um, watching it back, I watch the anime, and watching it back, I'm just like, the start wasn't really that great. But no, the last I part agree. was yeah. absolutely fantastic, mm -hmm. you know, because it set itself up to be great. And yes, we, th we thought, like, I'm looking at the scores now. We, th we thought that the first part was still good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? The thing, but then the second part was just like, holy shit. Uh, yeah. The thing with Mirai Nikki is the fact that they had, like, it's very interesting, like, death game, like, some kind of concept. They had 
characters that gripped you. Like there needs to be amazing. We're yeah. amazing. Like from the start. Expect like you know, obviously we talked about her. Um, but like I there is the idea that there's a lot of manga that don't know what they want to be from the start. Um, and they like develop it as it goes along and can be absolutely amazing. But it's so hard to invest like especially for manga pod because we only read like 50 chapters if yeah. that at a time it's hard to go into a manga and want to read it again when we have so many other ones we want to read and then this one had 50 chapters that didn't grip us at like had no saving yeah. graces for us really and i th- i think that 50 <laughs> chapters should be enough it's fair yeah, yeah. fair enough chance. you know I, yeah. I think um in terms of gants what i think happened was that he had this great idea and he did the first, I think he developed like the first part of it, like the train scene and then the onion boy. And then he, the, whoever was like his editor said, hey, this could be really popular. We want you to extend this as much as possible. So that's why we're getting the unnecessary crap. Yeah, maybe. More, fl- you know? more fluff in to extend it. Yeah. That's an idea that happens with TV shows all the time where it's like, mm-hmm. hey, like Supernatural, like not hating on Supernatural, but Supernatural was originally supposed to be five seasons. Like that's how it was written. It was supposed to end at season five. And then they renewed it like at the beginning of season five. They're like, we're making another six season of this. And so it's the idea that you have all of these ideas like set up at the beginning, but then you have to find a way to extend all of those. And so everything becomes... Yeah so tightened like like a rubber band like it's like stretched so thin that it's very hard to keep all of the elements that made the story good intact when you're thinning everything out so much you're bound Mm. to lose some substance oh for sure and i think that's probably what started happening here yeah that's just my that's just theory i could be wrong yeah but that's what, like, because we were going to read um, Hitman Reborn. I want to watch that series so badly. I want to read that series so badly. But I know we won't be able to do it for Manga Pop because everybody's like, it doesn't get good until chapter 98. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then never mind. <laughs> See, I think, um, I think in other cases, like Death Note as well, because I had the whole second arc, which just shouldn't have happened, mm-hmm. but it still did. Oh god, I loved all of Death Note. Well, that's not true. You know what? I was Never like, mind. we've talked about this. <laughs> but know, like, but, but yeah. it's gonna be great when we get to our Bakuman stage. We're gonna talk about like these certain things that happen. You're like, oh my gosh, that actually happened in real life, and that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Aaron? There's a bug in my China ball. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it <laughs> bugging you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Well, should we wrap up? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised nobody made... Is it a lightning bug joke? None of you. A lightning bug? Why? Why? Thank you so much for joining, (laughs) Mom. Wait, why would we make that joke? I need to know. We need... He can't leave us on that. What do you mean? It's a... There's a light and... The China ball is a light. Never mind. Never mind. Just the lightning and lighter different. (laughs) I'm, I'm so confused. (laughs) <laughs> Thanks for watching Manga Pod, home of the Manga Pod. You can watch all other Manga Pods on youtube.com slash happily Aaron, which happens to be here because God, it was such a bad joke. The actual channel. <laughs> such a bad joke. I'm sorry. I tracked. Oh. But anyway. Are we going to shout out our stuff? We should do yeah. that. Well, we also need to tell them what we're reading next week. Okay. Next I'll week get my we monocle are out. reading. Do you have it pulled up? I can. I have it pulled up. I've got it pulled, yeah, up. I've got it pulled I up. up. I also just had my mouse like completely go all the way across both of your faces, just so you know. Just want you to know that happened. We are reading. Wait, they have to guess. They have to yeah. guess. Yeah. I stopped myself. Should we all put on our monocles? Yes. Monocles. Hold on. Yeah. I can't use this. Don't don't, don't pull a nerve here. I know, pull right? It. I'm so worried. Oh, I, oh monocle. <laughs> all right. Are we ready? Yes. All right, cool. Gatsu, known as the Black Swordsman, seeks sanctuary from the demonic forces that pursue him and his woman, and also vengeance against the man who branded him as an unholy sacrifice. Unaided, oh, no, aided by only his titanic strength, skill, and sword, Gatsu must struggle against his bleak destiny, all while fighting with a rage that may strip him of his humanity. Some manga name is 
is a dark and brooding story of outrageous swordplay and on ominous fate. Ominous? That's not the right word. I mean, ominous. Ominous, that's the word. Ominous fate in the theme of Shakespeare's Macbeth. Clearly, we're in Tower of God. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Oh. Zerk, zerk, yes. zerk, 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 z
fucked because it up. You fucked it up. I, I, you yes, fucked it up. <laughs> but yes, that comes out on uh, Thursday, so, so you guys can catch up with that. And I watched the latest one today, and it was fantastic. I really enjoy it, so I'm sure you guys will too. Um, other than that, I have got a channel called The Dr. Dazzle, where I am going to be doing some interesting stuff that I have recorded. This week Whoa. I recorded, Whoa. and I got all set up. Whee. It's fantastic. I'm really Whoa. excited for it's coming. I hope you guys are too. I made like this logo as well, and I'm super proud of that logo that I made for it. It's Aww. really cool. But yeah, so I've got that coming uh, when I get internet back. Uh, don't be fooled by where I am at the moment. This isn't where this isn't my house. So when I get my house with my pool, I shall be uploading them as soon as possible. Yay. And I've got other interesting things which I'm talking to some people about, which is fantastic to go on that channel. Ooh. Like, you expect, like, real, like, holy crap, I didn't expect this to happen, kind of stuff. So, well, now I'm gonna nice. expect it to happen. Gonna well, it's gonna happen, but we're still gonna, gonna say holy crap. Yeah, we'll still we'll call it and be like, holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, so you can find that at the Dr. Dancer and go subscribe and stuff. I'm also on every other social network these two have spoken about. You can find me on Dr. Dazza. It's D O C T O R D A Z Z A. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, <laughs> Hummingbird, Tumblr, Reddit. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Okay, Cupid. <laughs> All the As stuff. As Dr. Daza on Yo Okay, Cupid. Yo, Okay, <laughs> Cupid. Do you know what Okay, Cupid is? Yes, I know what Yoke. Yeah. I keep saying Yoke. Okay. I can't stop saying Yo Okay, Cupid. Cupid. I, I didn't know if you guys had Okay, Cupid over there. So yeah, we, funny. we do. Ah, it's, right. ah. it's probably, yeah, the most popular dating site here. I think so. I would say. Um, before we shout out Yoku stuff really quick, I just want everybody, like, to know that chat was giving me crap because of, I put what we're reading next week in the description. <laughs> like, we already know so Aaron. Everyone's like, Aaron, you fool. <laughs> um, uh, to shout out our, uh, fourth co-host really quick since he is not here. All of his stuff is Yokorama. He does, has a channel called Yokorama Game Talk where he does not talk about video games. He does anime first impressions, anime reviews, uh, anime top tens. He's been doing a lot of different stuff with that. If you'd like to check him out on any sort of social, sort of social media, you can find him as Yokorama on Instagram, Yokorama Talks on Twitter, and Yokorama on Tumblr and Hummingbird. Pretty much everywhere else is just Yokorama. Yokurama. Yokurama. If you would like to find easy access to all of those links, go ahead and click see more on the description of this video. <laughs> it was awesome. see more, not see more, not one word. It's see, see more. more. Actually, it's show more. That's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> um, if you would like more MangaPod, go ahead and click in the links over in the description and they'll be taken to our MangaPod subreddit where you- You're can... completely sexy, bro. That's you're... amazing. Thank you. God, you're so good. It's good when she hides her face, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the breathing. The breathing is great. It, that does it for me, the breathing. The, the breathing. breathing is fantastic. The way you breathe, girl. Oh, yeah. Anyway, sorry. If you'd what? like, if you'd like more manga pod, go ahead and click in the description where you can be taken to our manga pod subreddit as well as a link to be taken to our manga pod iTunes, which needs to be updated. I'll be updating that either this week or this weekend. Um, on the manga pod subreddit, you um, oh, I need to add Dodgers Hummingbird to the description. Apparently, whoops, it's been a while. Hang on, I can do that right now. Can I? Hold on. Little old me, little old me. Wait, somebody else finished talking about what I was talking about. What were you talking about? Uh, uh, I didn't add Brooks Hummingbird to the no, description. That's, that's what you were talking about, weren't you? I was talking Yo, about, here. I was talking about what our subreddit is. Oh, God, oh, you guys are so behind. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash manga pond. Go pond. follow it. Manga pond, not pond, pond. Manga pond. No, Yoku's not here it. to defend himself. It's manga pond. <laughs> Definitely follow manga pond. It's the best. A plus 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> No. But you should also follow reddit.com slash r slash manga pod where actual things that, happen. Actual, I don't know if there's been any activity on manga pod for a while, but there will be now after tonight. Yeah, there has, because cause Gantz. There, there were people doing Gantz stuff. On manga, on manga pod, not manga pond. Oh. You mean the opposite, right? There hasn't been anything happening on manga pond 
Yeah, that's Stuff what has I said. happened on Monk Pod. You said Monk Pod. No, you, you no, swatched I said, it. You said <laughs> no. No, no, I said no. 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 <laughs> I said, I said happening on Monk Pod. This isn't working. <laughs> I'm out. I love you all. Love you all. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> oh, my mouse is going crazy. Bye.